All right, here we are. We are in Icy Strait Point in Alaska. This is going to be uh, Huna, Alaska. Uh, this is a location you see in a lot of the brochures and uh, advertising for cruises. And I got to tell you, this was incredible. I love the history here. Uh, this interpretive center was awesome. It was kind of like the gateway to all the adventure that's available. So we'll just follow along here. Uh, off to the left, there's trails off into the woods. And um, I, for some reason, I didn't get entering the building, but I did get the inside of the building when I was leaving back to go back to the ship. So here we are just outside the uh, interpretive center. And this is where you have, uh, there's a smokehouse, there's a bar, and then over off to the left there was, uh, there's a totem pole, uh, another totem, the Duck Point Bar, and restrooms. I don't know why I managed to record all the restrooms on this particular video, but I did. So there I am, I'm heading to my group. We're getting ready to head over to the old cannery. Now, for me, the old cannery is what I really wanted to see on this trip. It was just just awesome to see it. And I can't wait to share it with you. But for right now, let's just take a look at the scenery. They got this really cool statue of the Arca Whale there. And the benches tend to fill up awfully fast. But once you get to the cannery, there's lots of places you can sit down. The scenery here is absolutely magnificent. Oh, those are cool. So these homes are privately owned. And I think I read somewhere that they, they you can rent them. I, I'm not 100% sure about that. But they were cool to walk by anyway. Could you imagine living there? I mean, you are, like, out in the middle of nowhere. There is a native-owned village that's just on the other side of this island that you, I'm, I'm pr I, you can take a bus to or you can take a, some kind of transportation to. But there is a lot more to do on the island than just this. But for what I wanted to do, this is what I wanted to do. Over that white fence over there is the uh, cemetery. And then first stop is the cookhouse restaurant. Now, I kind of went on the cheap end of things for this trip. I uh, decided that I wanted to... Uh, not spend a lot of extra money when I was in in the different ports. So uh, for me, this was just kind of a visual experience, and I wanted to check out this building. I believe there was one other cruise ship here. So once you get inside the buildings, you're going to notice it's all gift shop. There's, there's, there are some things. The experience for me was to see the, like the ceilings and the doors and all the old stuff. And I'll, I will show that here to you. And this is, this was kind of my favorite part right here. This makes for a great picture. And I just kind of broke off from my group. And just decided to go record where I could find as few people as possible. And this, this I guess, would be your museum aspect of this adventure. Would be fucking nice. And then inside the buildings, it's all gift shops and whatnot. But like I said, there's a lot of places to sit. Um, if you need to sit down and take a break. Yeah, see, here's what I mean. But look at the ceilings. 
like, I mean, you can just see the history in this place. I mean, this this place operated back in the 30s. So it is now just a museum and uh, basically a, 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 a gift shop. One big, giant gift shop. And the old boat. Isn't that cool? And I spy with my little eye a bench that I'm going to go sit on. Because I'll tell you what, Juno totally wore me out on this trip. And Juno was day one. This was, or uh, Juno was not day one. We had day one. Juno was day three. This was day four after uh, Glacier Bay. An empty store. I mean, look at the big doors. They still got the old latches on them. Lots of jewelry stores. <laughs> On the entire trip, every port you go to, there is an extravagant amount of jewelry stores. Now, I didn't really look at cost here for anything, but I thought this was funny. I almost bought this shirt. Now, check out this door. Look at the old hinges on it. Isn't that cool? So this was kind of the museum part. It showed you how they used to do the canning. So this was kind of neat. The production line. familiar face. Where did dad go? Oh, there's dad. You made it. Well, you got it. Hey, he looks familiar. Ceiling. Now, I made mention. I, I've turned the audio down on some of this video, but yep. I made mention that, you know, I used to spend a lot of time in the Yakima Valley and I, I used to spend a lot of time in old warehouses uh, as There's books, part of yeah. my security detail that I used to run. Over here. And this reminded me a lot of some of those old warehouses. When my dad spotted the books. That book, uh, oh, The Last nice. Letters of Atu, is very interesting. All right, so here we are outside. Uh, there's the little uh, mini donuts. I did not try those. I just kind of sat here for a minute and just watched people. And of course, I spotted another bench so I could sit down. We're going to look at some more, uh, some of the equipment that they used to use. I could not tell you what any of that is. And there are the restrooms. <laughs> and so we're looking in. This would have been just before that uh, production line there that we looked at earlier. The crab house is up here off to the left. Again, the scenery is absolutely beautiful here. 
I think out of all the places I visited, I enjoyed this the most. There's the crab house. So now we're just walking back around on the water side back to the front of the building. I'm just making mental note of all the old windows, and mainly the reflections of the scenery in the windows. And this would have been this would have been the main building that we would have come in, but we we had actually gone to the right instead. Lots of stuff to look at, and the the prices were not that bad. So coming up up here off to the left was a dock area that I was really, really curious about here. I, I kind of like that shot, too. But I uh, got up here. I was really excited because I thought I was going to be able to walk out to the left. And oh, it's blocked off. There. But bad. there's some cool old That's stuff really down cool. there to look at. I would have liked to have gone and seen it. There's a cool picture right there. All right. And back through the center of the two buildings. We're just kind of doing a rehash. There are the restrooms. I did not plan that, I promise you. I think most everybody that was here was from the Eurodam. And I did re realize that they do have these available, the little trams, if you don't want to do the walk back. They'll take you back to the ship. I didn't do that. I just went ahead and walked it. So I really pushed myself on this trip. Really pushed myself. The, the smoking area for the uh, smokers over there. Now we're back on our way back to the ship. And this is the uh, cemetery that we walked past on our way down. It's kind of a cool little cemetery. So here we are going past the houses again. Beautiful sunsets and uh, sky colors later on. I, I didn't catch them for the video, but I did take quite a few pictures of this area. And I'll, I'll drop a couple at the end of the video for you to look at. Now, at this point, I didn't know where my group went. Um, I figured they were probably all off eating. I was, I was ready to head back to the Eurodam. But, like I said, the scenery is just breathtaking here. And you, you feel like you're at the end, at the end of the world, basically. And that little thing, that is the... Uh, a little, uh, you can take that and it'll take you up over the mountain 
and you can get some pretty cool views with it. We did not do that on this trip. And they also have a zip line that comes down uh, into this facility or on the other side of this facility. Here we are back into the interpretive center. This is going to be short, but this is what it is. And there she is, the Eurodam. A beautiful ship. And the long walk back. All right, well, I think that's going to bring this video to a close. Um, that is Icy Strait Point, Huna, Alaska. I'm sure there was a lot more to see and a lot more that we missed. But that's what the next trip will be for. I'm already looking at Skagway and places like that. So just that glass elevator is a lot of fun. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching.